Here are widespread reports that the Czech government has at least begun moving T-72 tanks and BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicles out of storage for transfer to Ukraine. This follows reports over the weekend that the U.S. government would help facilitate the delivery of T-72 tanks from an unspecified NATO member to the Ukrainian armed forces. Last week, the German government had separately approved a request from authorities in the Czech Republic to send ex-East German BMP-1s that they now own to Ukraine. Ukrainian authorities, including President Volodymyr Zelensky, have been stepping up calls for more substantial military aid packages that include various higher-end items, such as tanks and other armored vehicles, in recent weeks. This has come as Ukrainian forces have made significant gains in the northeastern end of the country. Russian units have been steadily pulling out of these areas as part of what appears to be a refocusing of efforts to the southeast, potentially as part of a broader push to at least bifurcate the country to some degree. Czech Television, the country's public television network, initially reported that the transfer of T-72 tanks and BMP-1 infantry fighting vehicles to the Ukrainian armed forces was underway, describing the vehicle as a gift that had been agreed in coordination with other NATO allies. The broadcaster cited Andrzej Benisik, a member of the lower house of the country's parliament from the Christian Democrat Party and the head of its European Affairs Committee, as its source. A subsequent report from Reuters also said that these vehicles were on their way to Ukraine, citing Benisik and a separate unnamed Czech defense source. All of this had followed the emergence on social media of pictures and video clips showing T-72s and BMP-1s being loaded onto train cars in the Czech Republic. Interestingly, the BMP-1s in question appear to be BVP-1s, the local designation for types produced in the now-defunct Czechoslovakia under license from the Soviet Union during the Cold War, rather than the modified ex-East German variants the country was already understood to be planning to send to Ukraine. This suggests that there are at least two separate transfers of armored vehicles from the Czech Republic to Ukraine in progress now. I will only assure you that the Czech Republic is helping Ukraine as much as it can and will continue to help by supplying military equipment, both light and heavy," Czech Defense Minister Jana Sernachova told members of parliament when asked to confirm the transfer of these armored vehicles to Ukraine, according to Reuters. This comes despite other recent reports that plans to deliver additional tanks and other armored vehicles to Ukraine might fall through over concerns about escalating tensions between NATO and Russia. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.